Great to meet you, Thank you. And I want to congratulate you on the Alpinist. And it's thank you so much for introducing Mark Andre Leclerc to the world. Uh, that was what we wanted to do. That was it, is introduce him to the world. And you achieved it. But let's start with the basics, though. And let's begin with you, Mr. Peter. Why Mark? Why do a documentary on him? Yeah, I mean, we know the climbing world. We're docu, we're storytellers. We're looking for that that interesting story. We heard about Mark from the best climbers we know, saying like, "This is the guy who's doing the like some of the most amazing stuff out there." The idea of one of the most elite climbers who's completely unheard of, doesn't care about sharing, doesn't care if anyone knows what he's doing, and to be able to to you know, capture that and get in with him. It's like, um, it's like filming a wolf in the wild or something. And um, yeah, so we were inspired from, from the day we, we heard about him. I love how alpinism is, is presented here as a backdrop for Mark, right? His story, yeah. but it's not too technical and I actually understand what it is. How did you perfect that balance? Okay, yeah. So, well, what's really amazing about alpinism, it is this very complex sport to master. Um, you know, you're dealing with all of the technical challenges of climbing as well as the weather and the objective hazards of a mountain. But really from a cinematic standpoint, it's also just an incredibly simple image. And so, and I think when you see someone up on a mountain by themselves like that, um, it doesn't require a lot for anyone to appreciate um, just how amazing that is. Well, you know, one of my favorite scenes here is when Mark simply vanished and didn't tell you guys. I mean, he's such a free spirit, right? Describe him to us, Peter, his wild version of adventure. Yeah, I mean, I think what we what we loved about Mark was what was most frustrating about Mark is that he was he really had it's almost like he was living in his own world. I mean, he had this this vision from literature and history and from the mountains that he grew up around about what he wanted to do. And he simplified everything else out of his life. So he was completely dedicated. I mean, he had an amazing relationship with his partner, Brett. He, you know, he, I don't want to say he supplied everything else, but he was just so focused on these, you know, putting in all the necessary work to be able to achieve these dreams. You know, I love seeing Alex Honnold here, the free solo guy. There's sometimes I'll be like, oh, this is kind of like free solo, but I heard that it was made before, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was made before. And, you know, Alex, I mean, it was great to have him in the film. He's a, a really, he's a, he's this superstar climber, but he's also a really core part of the climbing community. He's been a friend and a collaborator of ours for years. Um, so, you know, when we're looking to talk to people about, um, uh, about Mark, you know, he really fits in as well as any of the older, uh, you know, uh, climbers and, and legends. And so, um, you know, but it's also really good, I think, to have someone in the film that people can contextualize and connect with. Um, so. Oh, a big congrats on the Alpinist again. It's quite accelerating and also quite heartfelt. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Good luck on everything, okay? All right. Appreciate it.